we'd like to show it to you today for the first time. And we call it the iPad. So, let me show it to you now. This is what it looks like. I happen to have one right here. That's what it looks like. Very thin. It's just like this. At CES, we will show a tablet uh, that can be and will be used for children, probably in the developed world, that will allow us to start testing many of the things that combine, if you will, a laptop and an iPad and a Kindle, and sort of take those and put them into one, into one device. We're gonna miss CES by 45 days. We'll show it, or we'll have something middle of February. But that's actually not bad. Um, the, the issue has been really finding an unbreakable material. What I'm really excited on working on this year is uh, bringing back the artistry and taking photos and the iconic nature of the Polaroid, uh, the instant film, the frame that we all know and love, bringing it back and uh, combining it with the digital era to create something that's new and Hasagaga. It's an amazing thing in a certain sense uh, how the tech industry just keeps boom, pushing forward, pushing forward, pushing forward. Uh, I'm no grand historian of other industries or other technologies, but they seem to run out of gas at some time. And I feel like kind of the tech industry is the, the gift that just keeps right on giving. This is the time, it's the opportunity, and the cloud forms the basis. Between the microprocessor and the internet, we did give the gifts that never stopped giving. And they're giving us the cloud today. And as uh, I like to say at Microsoft, for the cloud, we're all in. We believe it's a platform. We believe on that platform, you run standard-based software, a wide variety of software. Databases and application development tools, and, you know, a variety of guest operating systems running on the virtual machines. It's a comprehensive development and execution environment that could run virtually all of your applications. It must be virtualized. It must, it must be elastic. It clearly it includes both hardware and software. So let's be clear. This disclosure is not just an attack on America's foreign policy interests. It is an attack on the international community. The alliances and partnerships the conversations and negotiations that safeguard global security and advance economic prosperity. I'll point out one point, the top red dot says 3,283 TPS, which is tweets per second. That's our, the most tweets we've ever seen come in at one time were during the Japan-Denmark game.